Premiering with a 10 minute standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival, Agro Drift recently screened at the New York Film Festival and despite over a dozen people walking out of my theater, I do think the film has something interesting to say. Well, I, I, don't, I still don't even know if it's what you would call a film. I mean, it's a film, it's maybe not a movie. I don't really know. I've been calling them blinks. Okay, what the f the director himself said, we are trying to not make a movie, so maybe it's not even a movie. Whatever that means. Coming in at 80 minutes, this movie is tough to get through, but again, is it about the movie itself or the message that it sends to Hollywood? Now, before I get into more of my thoughts on Agro Drift, let me know you guys think about it in the comments down below, but without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The first thing I have to mention is the absolutely bonkers visual style of this movie, because if you know anything about this movie, you know about the fact that it is completely shot in infrared. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this idea actually had me pretty interested. The first thing I found out about this movie is the fact that it was shot in all infrared, and I was like, okay, maybe just because it's shot in infrared doesn't mean it won't have any substance at all whatsoever. It's probably just a creative choice, maybe something unique to enhance the story like we've never ever seen in the history of Hollywood. But I'm not gonna lie, it basically just makes everything in this movie look like CGI. There's really no point to the infrared, and obviously I think everyone garnered that idea, so I wouldn't wanna sit on that for too long. But I will say, on the bright side of this, some of the cooler looking shots like physically blue shots looked interesting visually ones that stand out or ones that were like on a boat and stuff like that Those were slightly interesting shots in cinematography choices But other than that nothing it really works about it I think the reason it doesn't work is because of the story that they chose a lot of the demon stuff the fantastical aspects of this movie are primarily what don't really work with the specific choice of infrared. Now, none of the story really works in general, but more so the fantastical elements that are visually fully CGI look even more off-putting since they're in infrared. But again, getting to that uninteresting story, there is no plot to this movie. Because the visuals, the, the audio is so extreme, I felt like it really really just needed like the storyline itself needed to be like reduced almost to its like core and i didn't really know that going in that's why i had some level of interest that's why i had some intrigue because yes it was all in infrared but maybe there was something at the core of this film that's not really the case at all whatsoever so many of the ideas in this movie are just blatantly incoherent it's an 80 minute movie and there's probably 10 total minutes of the runtime which is the single girl twerking, and then five minutes between any slightly interesting sequence is people walking around. I swear, this is, I watched this at the New York Film Festival, this is probably the movie I watched with the least amount of dialogue, and it's arguably the shortest movie I watched at the entire festival. The story itself has some interesting core to it. At the very, very middle of it all, it is about a mob boss fighting a demon in Miami. It's a very GTA style story and it gets pretty fantastical. But other than that, there is no cohesion to that story. Everything I just mentioned, none of it actually comes together. The mob boss fights the demon by the end of the 80 minute runtime. But within that 80 minutes, within I would say like 65 minutes before you get to that final sequence, which I'll talk about later in this video, within that you get no substance. There is nothing that actually leads you to that final battle. You could take the first five minutes of this movie and the last five minutes of this movie, put them together and you'd get the same amount of impact that you do by watching 80 minutes of this film. At the end of the day, this is just not a movie in my opinion. Experimental as a label is just being nice. There is no reason for anything. And again, I know the director himself said, is this a movie? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't care. I sat down and watched an 80 minute movie and I saw a little light at the end of the tunnel for about five minutes. 
and then it disappeared. It's too many weird things on top of each other because I feel like if they had the infrared with a good story, this could have been amazing. This could have been a shot in the face to Hollywood that we're gonna break your visual barriers. But it's breaking a visual barrier while also falling into the traps of just being shitty. Now, the only positive to this movie is the music behind it. The score of this film is absolutely awesome. And I think it's because it's music that I personally enjoy. Travis Scott is in this movie for approximately 30 seconds, but you do feel that influence in the score aspect of this film. This is a weird movie. And the score is also really weird, but it's interesting. It's fun. It leans into the GTA-isms of this film, and I really, really had an entertaining time with that aspect. At the end of the day, I obviously can't recommend this movie, but if you like movies, I think this would be an interesting film to check out. I don't really have a score for this. I have a review on Letterboxd, but other than that, that wraps up my thoughts on Agro Drift. Again, if you've seen or want to check out Agro Drift, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.